Do you wanna know my favorite thing about the month of December? Okay, I have a lot of favorites. Yes, I love decorating the Christmas tree. Yes, I love listening to Christmas music on full blast and singing along to it. But I also love thinking and planning for the new year. So I always try to give myself some mental space to take the time to think about what I wanna do next year, what I want to accomplish and kind of setting the stage for all the magic to unfold in the next 12 months. But today I'm gonna to do something a little bit wild, a little bit crazy. I've never done this before. We're going to create a jumbo, gigantic, huge, enormous, amazing calendar wall. I don't know for sure 100% if this plan is going to work, but I've done the measurements. I think it's possible. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing along the way so that you can create a giant wall-sized calendar for yourself. We do need some supplies here. So I'm using the 15 inch by 18 inch post-it notes. This is called the mini easel pad. They really do stick to your wall. It really works. I also have a new pack of black chisel Sharpie markers, a pack of colored Sharpies, the clickable kind. Of course, we're going to need some small post-it notes to put on our calendar. And we are also going to need a pencil and a ruler for this project as well. Now, if you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh, and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive as a video content creator so that you can become the boss of your own future. It really just comes down to taking the right steps in the right direction. So make sure you hit that subscribe button now and we're gonna dive into this. I also wanna let you know, I put links to everything that I'm mentioning here, the Sharpies, the Post-its, the exact sizes and everything. I put links to those down in the description below this video so you can get the exact ones that I'm using and create this for yourself. And I know this time of year is incredibly busy for most people. It's the holidays, it's Christmas, it's the year ending, the new year beginning. It's like, it's a lot to think about. And that's actually one of the reasons why I think setting the stage by setting up a calendar, even if it's not on your wall, is a really smart thing to do during the month of December because once the new year comes and things go back to normal or at least as normal as possible you just have this like blank slate you set the stage for all of the amazing things that you want to have happen in the new year even if you can't take the time to actually plan everything you have that framework you're setting the stage for yourself so like i already mentioned this is 15 inches wide by 18 inches high we're going to use our ruler and our pencil now you only have to do the measurements and all of this stuff once and then you can use this as a template and just trace the other pages. And if you happen to have a yardstick, it might actually be easier than using a ruler, but we're going to start at the top. We're gonna to butt this ruler right up to the top here and mark three inches down. And we're gonna do it down here too so that we can make a straight line. And then we want to give ourselves some space to actually write the name of the month. So we're going a quarter of an inch up from that line. We're gonna eyeball it, it's in the middle ish for some reason the very top they they don't have the same texture as paper so you can't really write very well with a sharpie up here so that's why we have we're starting our writing a little bit down um, and it kind of balances out the whole calendar anyway and next we want to give ourselves about three eighths of an inch to write in the name of each week i'm not a super perfectionist about this. Now we're gonna do the grid down. These are gonna be two and a half inches. So we should be able to get five rows here in our calendar. All right, so we have our horizontal rows, one, two, three, four, five, plus a little extra space at the bottom. Now to go across, we want them to be two and an eighth wide. This particular piece of paper gives us an extra eighth of an inch. So if you want your grid to be perfectly centered, you're going to have to start at exactly one sixteenth of an inch inside the edge of the paper. So starting at one sixteenth inside the edge of the paper, we're going to go two and an eighth 
over. I don't know about you, but the idea of heading into the new year confused about what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to be doing, and just kind of winging it sounds incredibly stressful to me. So each day of our calendar here is two and an eighth inches wide, two and a half inches tall. It's one sixteenth from the edge on both sizes so that the grid is completely centered. And then up here at the top, we are three inches from the very top. We have three eighths of an inch for the day of the week up here at the top. And then where we're gonna put the actual name of the month, we have a half an inch to write that. And it's a quarter of an inch from the top of the calendar. So this is our template here. Now we're gonna use a nice new black Sharpie to go over our lines. Now, since this one here has all of my measurements on it, I'm gonna use this one for the month of December for next year. That way I have all my measurements when I go to do this again next year. And I'm going to put the days of the week. I like to start my calendars on a Monday. I just feel like it makes more sense in my brain. And this is how it looks. It's nice and minimal and everything is spelled right. So let's put this on the wall and see how it looks. Now the question is, can we put 12 of these on this wall? Now in theory, we should be able to use the calendar we just created as a template. And now you can see through it. And all we really have to do is use the Sharpie to go over these lines. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put any of the actual days, the numbers on my December calendar. And that is because, well, I forgot. So we're going to do that now before we go much further. And I'm just going to make sure we start out on the right days. So Wednesday is the 1st of December, 2021. We're going to end on a Friday. So let's see if we can't screw this up. I recently did a workshop with Stephanie Crowder. She has this thing called year on the wall. And that's partly what inspired this video, actually. I'll put a link to that workshop down in the description if you wanna check it out. So while I was doing this, I found a little bit of a hack for you. If you go to the very end of the actual post-it note pad, the very last page is going to have like the backside of the sticky part. You're gonna be able to rip this off and it will still be on there, so use the last page of the post-it note pad as your template. So I'm gonna use my April one here from now on. That way I'm not sticking and re-sticking the December template on all of these different months as I go through. Now for months like August, 2021, we are going below the five rows that I have designated here. So I'm just adding these blocks at the bottom. They're not a perfect two and a half. They're more like a two by two square. There are so few months where this actually happens that I'm not really that worried about it. I had to switch cameras because my battery was dying. But we have everything on the wall here. It's gonna get a little bit awkward with the ones that are way down near the floor. But my next phase, my next step is I want to add in important dates, birth dates, anniversaries, things like that for my kids and my immediate family, the important things in my life. And I'm going to mark all of these with pink. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my sticky notes and add some things in the calendar. What I want on my calendar is every day that my kids are off of school. I also wanna put in here any commitments that I have made. So for example, the next five day challenge, five days to build your profitable side hustle with YouTube is starting on January 4th. So now when I'm at my desk, I'll be able to see I'm gonna be busy that week, rocking and rolling inside of the Facebook group and helping everyone plan their YouTube channels for the new year. And I won't have to schedule anything else for that week. I'll put links below to the Sharpies and the exact post-it notes 
that I'm using here. And if you do make a calendar wall, I want to see it. So make sure you tag me over on Instagram, meredithmarsh.co. This is going to be amazing. We're going to take over the next year with our calendar wall, our Sharpies, and our post-its. Now, if you like planning, and if you are in particular a content creator yourself, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna queue up a fantastic playlist I have for you here. But in the next couple of weeks, I will be sharing how I plan my YouTube videos, my exact process for that, how to come up with content ideas, keyword research, SEO, all that stuff. So stick around.